What makes film noir from Colombia so compelling is that it's the opposite of formulaic or cookie cutter. It really reflects the whole scope and diversity of what film noir could be. With noir, you're revisiting a certain period in America. Nothing else under the studio system delves quite as deeply into what American society was really like, as opposed to maybe what American society wanted to be like. I think you saw it because we caught up with you. Either that or you're one of those bird brains figures it's a trend to be brave or something. All of the Hollywood studios were making film noirs during the 1940s and 50s, and every studio kind of has its own signature in its approach to noir. I can't spot it, but something's wrong somewhere. Columbia produced some, I think, of the real masterpieces of the form, like Nicholas Ray's In a Lonely Place and Fritz Lang's The Big Heat. Oh, you pig, you lying pig! You'll also find something like Murder by Contract, an exceedingly tough B-movie that is highly admired by Martin Scorsese. The target is a woman. Are you kidding? And Drive a Crooked Road, which stars Mickey Rooney in a very unexpected performance. So we're looking at a period for Columbia of about 15 years. Their films often reach beyond the kind of genre conventions that people expect, while still having, I think, a recognizable kind of Columbia look and feeling.